Okay, so one thing I noticed the other day, I'm I'm a big Reddit user. And I've got a Nintendo Switch, I've got the Xbox, I've got the PS5. Shit, I've got the Steam Deck that I've not played in a while. I've got, i probably got, I don't know, 2,500 games plus, something like that. I keep buying the games, never have time to play them. Anyway, I've got maybe 300, 350 Nintendo Switch games. Don't tell anyone else that because I don't want anyone to know in the house what I spend on my video games. Anyway, happened to see this, this article for this Nintendo Switch MIG cartridge. So, in my former days as a criminal, I was also a bit of a pirate. Those who have seen me speak know about this. I started to sell pirated games, then software, then installing mod chips on the gaming system so you could play the pirated games. I pirated movies. I did all this bullshit. Video game-wise, the first real pirated device that I had was for the Nintendo 64. It was this big contraption that actually plugged into the cartridge slot on top of the Nintendo 64, and it recorded pirated video games onto a zip drive that you could you know, load the data onto. And it, it was fantastic. You saved a shitload. It was like 600 bucks, you know, out of pocket. But once you paid that, you never had to buy another video game. Welcome to today's world with the Nintendo Switch. Yes, this is the last year of the Nintendo Switch. But Nintendo Switch has thousands and thousands of different software titles. That's how they make their money. That's how hardware makers do it. Like Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, what they do is, is they put the machine out at a very low cost. They're not making a lot of money per machine. They make money on software. Software is expensive. A lot of people don't want to spend the money on software. If you can get something that, hey, I don't have to buy the money, I can pirate the games and play on that, that device, guess what? That's exactly what you'll do. And this is exactly what we're talking about with the Nintendo Switch MIG cartridge. What that is, it's a little cartridge that plugs into the cartridge slot. You've got an SD card on top of that, and you load it up with any number of games that you want to free of charge. What does that equate to? That equates to Nintendo being really pissed off. Now, this device came out uh, this month, Sells for anywhere from $69, I've seen it on eBay, up to $129. It works like a charm. Um, I am not advocating piracy. But if you're looking at consoles, video games, things like that, there's, there's always a demographic of people that look to gain access to the software without having to pay for it. They're always trying to jailbreak things. They're always doing homebrew things. And this is exactly what we're talking about now. This is the, uh, to me, this is the the be all end all of piracy on the Nintendo Switch. Um, I would imagine that the manufacturers of this will get shut down within the next six months. But for that six month space, they're gonna put out thousands of these things and Nintendo is going to have one hell of a headache trying to fight it.